Hey everybody, it is Owen here, and I am back with my Minecraft Adventures number 3. It's been a while since I've made this, so you can already see some changes. The last time that I actually made a Minecraft Adventure um, episode, I was inside of my house, but my house was about one block tall all the way around here. So I actually made some changes, starting with here, over here is my front door. Um, I'm just going to open that and close it really quickly. And then I added some windows, I've got my crafting set up right there and I have a back door over here that's got glass around it um, if I walk out I actually have a sheep pen over here that I will soon that is a bone um, these don't kill each other do they? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, three. okay now oh then the bones are okay the bones are just from skeletons I was like um it could have been because I was just in the night time but, yeah, that was kind of creepy. Anyways, um, sheep pen over there that I should go collect those bones. Oh, I'll just go collect the bones right now, seeing as I'm running back and forth. Um, my house still needs a lot of work. I want to change the flooring inside my house, which is partly why I started the sheep farm first. Um, I want to start making, uh, I guess, a different color ground for my, for my house. And I haven't actually decided on what kind of dye to use for it yet, so that'll be interesting when I do. I also have to take out this whole area and then re refurbish it, refurnish it um, with actual with actual carpet or wool, I guess, dyed wool. And then this area in here that actually has the hole, I want to dig into and then make it kind of like an underground area. So I don't know what I'm going to put in there either, but it should be kind of fun. Um, in terms of above my house, it's really nothing. Uh, the house outside looks kind of... Whoa. Sorry, I forgot that I could fall off that. So the house outside actually doesn't look that good. Um, I need to put some kind of... I need to make it look better outside, but I'm not sure how to yet. And I'll get working on that as soon as possible. Just coming down here, we can actually walk through this like uh, valley cavernous thing over into my tree farm. And my tree farm actually consists of, right now, one, two, three, four, by what looks like four. So it consists of 16 trees um, that I've been using for all of my wood. I really hate when they get that big because it has to cut down. But 16 trees I've been using for all of my wood. And then over here I have wheat and sugarcane on the other side for, um, for efforts in... I'm just going to jump on all of these. I have wheat and then sugarcane over there that I will be using to, one, lure animals into my uh, my farm and use the wheat for mating. I'll probably use the sugarcane for making cookies or something weird like that later. Um, I wish I had a hoe so that I could put these down. Yeah. Didn't think that through. And I know I don't have one over here. So... I'll come over here and show you guys the last part. Um, this is my garden shed. I actually, I think I've made it look kind of nice. You can see I put stairs on the top here so that it has a more rounded kind of top ceiling. Um, I like it personally. I think it looks nice. Um, inside, I was debating on filling in or not. Decided not to because for some reason I like that more. So, go down here and into this because this is my garden shed. Which is weird because nothing is in there, and nothing is in there. And I did put this um, pad here so I could just walk outside and I didn't have to open the door. I thought it was kind of cool, but now every time I'm walking around I'm like, oh, what is that crazy sound going on behind me? Um, Trapdoor into this underground passage kind of way. I've got a ladder over here, and then signs to stop the water from coming in. And if I walk right out here, I actually get into an oasis part in my backyard and now why is that cool it really isn't but I think it's um, just something fun to have kind of like a spy thing just in case I get caught or something I don't know but it also enters me into this like desert area that I want to eventually explore and it will probably be like the entrance to a new um, land after I finish building everything over in the, the, that house that house yonder and I have to start building cities and stuff, um, which I plan on doing. 
because I think that'd be fun to do. Now, what's over there? Nothing really. Um, I'm going to lure the sheep over to my farm and hope that it, it will follow me, right? Yeah. It's got a ways to go to actually get over here. I think in this episode I'm actually going to start um, cutting down or what is it called? Trimming sheep? I'm going to start trimming the sheep so that they will give me their wool for the floor and then I'm not sure if you die the wool before or after you actually have the sheep. So I'm pretty sure you can um, get in here. Get in here sheep. Get in. You must follow me through these doors. Why are you being so confusing? Come. Come, sheep. Okay, have this. You'll follow me over here. And then if I enter this way. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start reading these again since I have so many of them. I have to be really close to him now, which is unexpected. And I think this is the end of it. I think that's all of the sheep that I can actually mate. Yeah, okay, now I'm just actually just randomly clicking around. So how do I build a pair of shears? I believe that it is two iron ingots and um, a stack of wood or something. Maybe it's just two iron ingots. I'm not sure. But that would be really hard for me to make since I have no iron. So that is actually not going to happen today. Um, I could go out and start finding some iron or looking for it, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Um, the next thing that I really would want to work on is the top of my house or around my house to make it look nicer on the outside because I kind of have my farm down um, at least a little bit or my like my tree farm looks fine to me my garden looks my sugarcane garden granted is not that good in the first place but it looks fine to me so I will try to avoid working on these besides just you know re-patching them uh, for a while but I do need to start working on my house because it is by far, I think, the worst looking part of the area that I'm going, except maybe here. Kind of having like a dirt cave isn't so cool, but I don't know what I would replace it with. Um, I feel like I, I just heard an Enderman. Is he outside? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, I was checking this window too. So this window doesn't see anywhere almost. Um, and then I can look outside the door. Nope. Okay. And now that I'm back inside, I am going to try to think of a plan to do. Or a plan of something to do. Um, I have a sign, gates, ladders. If I bring ladders, I can actually go outside and then start working on the roof of the house. Um, I could build stairs up onto the roof of the house. Or... I could, if I build a spiral staircase, how would that look? A spiral staircase from here, up there, and then I could, I could possibly have like a, a leveling thing, and then multiple, I could have multiple levels with the staircase. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try that. Um, I'll start just with a basic spiral staircase with uh, wooden blocks, and then we'll see how that goes from there on out. Okay, so I'm not completely positive how I'm going to start making this in 100% honesty. Um, this looks, actually this just kind of looks like a, a general spiral staircase, right? Or just a way for me to jump from one place to another. It's just one one way for me to jump from one place to another. I don't want that. I want I want a way to actually get up and use this. Wow, my spiral circus looks retarded. Um, where's an axe? Do I have an axe? No, I don't. So I'll make one out of cobblestone 
and wood. I have sticks though, don't I? Thank God. It does though. Um, how do you make a hatchet? It is one, two, three, and then I get a stone axe. I don't want a shovel, but I do want shears. Is that how you make them? You make them somewhere, something like this, but probably can't make them. Yeah, I think you do need iron for that, so I'll just hold off on that for a while. Um, how am I going to do this? Or would it look better if I did something completely different, like if I made it so that maybe not, because for a second then I was thinking maybe a spiral staircase from like a, a floor below this to a floor above this. Um, is it raining outside? It is. That's that's a that's honestly one of the first times it's ever done that in my Minecraft, um, in any of my Minecraft worlds. So that's kind of cool. I bet you other people think it's annoying. I can see a creeper out there. And hop in the bed. <clears throat> okay, so back to the dilemma of before. It's still raining outside. I don't know why, but I thought that was really cool. I see the creeper. Just disappeared. And skeletons on fire. And back to making my thing. So if I made it just an actual staircase down below, um, like if I just regular staircase walk below, that'd be fine. And then should I have a, a floor above this or it should just be like a roof? I could actually just have like a, a way to get to the roof from the outside. Or should I have like a lookout tower above my house? I think I want to do that. Okay, so let's find a corner of my house that I can kind of destroy or change up a bit. So if I go around to the outside and then make... I'm going to make it from right here. So let's find out what's on the outside of this first. Ooh, nothing. Sweet. So that is going to be my new lookout tower. Um, shovel. And then I can actually build a bow or something and kill things with it. I just want to make like a square opening from there to here. And then I'm going to destroy my house around these parts. I'm also going to put a probably a way to get in from the inside, so I'll leave that there. And the whole goal of this is actually just make it kind of more square-like. So if I make that along with this, there is a square, and oh, I <laughs> suck, and this is a square. Okay. So this is going to start being my lookout point, and I will build on from this from the inside. Um, destroy this torch, because I need to put a wall here. I also need to destroy two of these blocks for a door. So after I make the whole thing, I will look at the positions for a door to be there, and then... Wow. I don't want that block to be there. Um... Where would a good door be in this whole thing? And that looks like miserable uh, because of this one block right there. That one wall. So I could actually just put another... That looks a little bit better. That looks a considerable amount better, honestly. Um, I could have saved the wood on the outside by taking it off. Mm, if I put a door right here, that looks fine to me. Okay. It's not actually going to be a door right now because I don't want to waste wood by building a door, but I will, I will assume that it is going to be one in a little bit. I know I have more than one stack of wood in my uh, chest. 
And then how high should it go? Probably the height of like another tower or another floor. So maybe five taller than this or four taller than this. Because, uh, damn. I'll get out going like this. Take a heart. Um, how many stacks of wood do I have? Three, almost, almost three. Don't have another door, and then I do have stairs, which I'm going to need for the staircase. Or I could just put a ladder in here. A ladder would be just as easily uh, made. Probably actually be easier if I made a ladder. And then the wall goes from here and there, I believe. So that will be floor number one, and the spiral staircase can reach over to that point. And um, I'll just actually just finish making the, the probably the height on this part, and then I'll just get off of this, and I will show you guys the rest of the building on the next episode. So, because it is kind of boring to see me just build a tower. Especially if it's just going to be like this the whole time. But basically, uh, the main points of my current world, I have expanded quite a bit. Um, especially that over there, and all of that over there. I've actually done quite a bit of work since I started this island. And it's kind of cool. It's turning out kind of nice to me. I like having the ability to create something that um, is unique. So that would be the whole point of my Minecraft, wouldn't it? Um, I'll actually just end it here. No, okay, I'll, I'll keep going. I just keep on talking about ending it. But on the other thing, uh, Skyblock, the episodes are still going to be coming out. Some of you, I don't think it's the most popular thing, but um, I do enjoy it. So, um, let's see, one, two, three, four. So this is four blocks high from the floor right there. I can actually just build... This will be the last one. I'll cover this with uh, cover this with wood. I'm a decent height up here. I can see the ocean. Um, this could actually be like a lighthouse almost because of that massive expanse of ocean over there. Hmm. Stuff that I'm gonna have to work on. Okay. When I actually make a spiral staircase, I'll decide where to open it. And then this will be my defense wall from the massive ender dragon. I'm just kidding. Uh, eventually I will go to the, the nether though, fight an ender dragon. Okay, so here on out, this is my watchtower. Let's see what it looks like over here. Looks really bad. Um, hopefully that will eventually not look so terrible. As uh, as I actually develop it, I'll put some windows in it and stuff. Maybe some like make some slits in it. Maybe it'll go to uh, taller and have like a triangle thing, like a castle, something like that. But other than that, I think I'm going to get off of this episode, you guys. Um, I, can I make it over here? I think I can if I go like this. No, I wasn't full sprinting. I don't. I don't have enough food to sprint. No. Okay. Well, then I'll just stop right here. See you guys, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed my island.